1995, Group Homo released their classic debut album, Living Proof. And if you know anything about 1995, this was one of the most difficult years to drop in hip hop. Artists from the West Coast, from down South and East Coast were dominating at this time, even the Midwest. So in order to stand out, your album definitely had to be a classic and you had to bring something new to the table. This is a look behind the scenes of Group Home Living Proof. There's just something special about the synergy of a hip hop group with just two members. Two MCs who are normally polar opposites on the mic, but seem to fit perfectly when the beat comes on. You had groups like EPMD, DOS FX, LNL Scratch, Showbiz, and AG, just to name a few. In 1995, Hip Hop Duels would drop some of the best albums we've ever heard in hip hop history. Mob Deep would drop their second, most acclaimed album, The Infamous. Dog Pound would drop Dog Food, their debut album. And Smith and Wesson would drop The Shine in their debut album. It wasn't just the lyrics that really put these albums over the top, it was the production. Production is always a key component to hip hop. There's also a hip hop duo coming out of New York that would further add to this list. Group Home is an East Coast hip hop duo representing New York. Now, Lil Dap is representing Brooklyn, East New York, and Malachi the Nutcracker is representing the home of hip hop, the Bronx. The origins of Group Home actually starts with the one of the greatest MCs of all time, Guru, from one of the most iconic groups of all time, Gangstar. After Guru graduated college, he would start to do a lot of community work in the inner cities in New York. One of his jobs was actually working at a group home. During this span in the late 80s, he would run into two young men, better known as Lil Dap and Malachi the Nutcracker. I'm my 88, I met him. So he just got out of college and all that. And a friend of mine, Tommy uh, Hill, my man Gus, they introduced me to him. So I've been with him ever since he came from out of college. You know, I've been with him ever since college, the college days. So he graduated from Morehouse University, and he came to Brooklyn, and that's when we met up. That's when we took up, that's when we came from there. You know what I mean? So he took it all up from there, you know, and, you know, he started explaining, like, the music he's trying to do and things like that, and he was pressing on records. He had, a, he had some wax, something like some wax. I'm like, oh, you got, he, he was pressing on records and stuff, like dub plates back then, what we call them dub plates. You know what I'm saying? That was dub plate. You know, like, God, people, you know, you made a dub plate or something. Yeah, like some wax and shit. And I said, what you doing? He's like, you know, pressing his music, putting his music on. I was like, oh, all right. So, and then, you know, one thing led to another, he kept calling, and that next day I'm like, you know, let me get behind him. And I got behind him, you know what I mean? And one thing led to the other, and now you had group on, gangs on, and all that. I believe in his pain. I guess, you know, I was feeling, you know, I felt his pain. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn, you all the way from Boston, what you doing out here? Group home would be the second component in the Gangstar Foundation as far as releases go. Now, the Gangstar Foundation was founded by Guru and Big Shug. Now, if you know anything about the 80s and 90s, it was extremely hard to get put on into the hip-hop game. You definitely had to pay your dues. Group Home definitely paid their dues. They did a lot as a collective and individually to not only prove that they belong in hip-hop, but also work towards that goal. Malachi and Lil Dap were very young when they first ran into Guru. Malachi was around 13 or 14 years old, and Lil Dap was around 16 years old. Two, they would both play critical roles in some of the earlier videos in the Gangstar catalog. On Gangstar's third studio album titled Daily Operation, Lil Dap would finally get his chance to show and prove on the mic. 
alongside J. Ru the Damager on the song called I'm the Man. This was one of the best songs on the album, and both MCs showed and proved that they have skills and ready when we're ready to take it to the next level. With the success of I'm the Man, J. Ru the Damager and DJ Premier will continue to work together, building a demo a demo turning into a record deal for J. Ru, and also solidifying DJ Premier as one of the best producers in hip hop at the time. This would then lay more foundation for the Gangstar Foundation and then allow Group Home to follow behind. Gangstar would drop their fourth studio album in 1994 titled Hard to Earn. Following the recipe from the previous album, J. Ru the Damage and Lil Dap would also feature on this album on one of the best songs on the album again called Speak Your Clout. Now this time around, Malachi the Nutcracker would get his chance to shine on a song called Words from the Nutcracker. Also been behind us, you know what I'm saying? We knew one another from knowing friends behind friends, you know what I'm saying? And we waited our turn, and now we're branching off to our own thing, which is the group home. And they used to live in Brooklyn, too, so you know, it was all like a family thing. You know right. what I'm saying? They lived over here, around the corner. Exactly. Oh, let's go you know around the saying? corner, go to Premier House, or we just go, go up chill. to the Bronx. They was cool brothers. brothers. We knew them when they was nothing. And now that they something, you know what I'm saying? Everybody want to Now we doing our thing. We don't want to just be behind with them. We want to do our thing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But we, but we waited did I turn, you know what I'm saying? True. And but from that, is that how you got hooked up to be in the videos? You know what I'm saying? Because if y'all remember yeah. that just to get a rep, little shorty had a three eight. Yo, he was inching. You remember that joke? Shorty said, nah, I pulled the trigger and step. It was nothing. It was just he to, did get, it just a to get a rep. Right Word here, baby. Yeah. Right here, That's baby. We was behind scenes, you know what I'm saying? That's when we wasn't doing nothing. We wasn't getting no money. We wasn't doing nothing. We was out there promoting. Exactly. Doing, doing work. He's working. He's he definitely hustling. working. Word, you know what I'm word. saying? A lot of but now we got our own thing going on. Yeah, right. but hold up. Y'all not only were y'all in videos, y'all got to do a track on the um Daily Operation album. I'm the man. Y'all yeah, got to get into that. I'm the man. I did my solo. He did his solo piece. I'm the man, right? And that was him, J. Ru, and uh the Guru, the Guru, which is from Gangstar. Then I did my solo joint on the other side, and that's Words of the Nutcracker. And then I also did another jam on that album called Speak Your Clout. Me Words, and Speak Your Clout, hard to earn. You know what I'm saying? Group Home would start to record their music for a demo in order to try to get a record deal. Guru would go in the studio with them to record a song called So Called Friends. This song really captured DJ Premier's attention, and he knew it was time to start cooking up for an album. But yo, I flip at times Like when I'm kicking rhymes Or busting tech nine So-called friends Make the nut go wild I'm your friend to the end Like Chucky said now Never knew what was next Always watch my step I've been through all the shady shit Plus the it's in the butt Better watch your step Or you're bound to get bust Never know what's next And it's I kind of like Brothers losing their life When they put with the right Did everything on my own Without my father and my life Normal fights every night But shit Lil Dap and Malachi finally did it. They reached their goal. They were able to sign a record deal to Payday Records, which was also home to J. Ru the Damager. Gangstar had a previous manager that worked there, so it was just a seamless tie to get them signed. They began recording their album in 1994 with DJ Premier getting ready to drop some of the best beats of his career to this date. Check out these samples.
handled the bulk of the production on the album, basically all the songs except two. Jazz O would produce Forgive Me For My Sins, and then Google would produce the track that he was on called Serious Rap Shit, but the rest of the album was produced entirely by DJ Premier. Group Home would come out the gate swinging with their debut single, Superstar. This song shot up the Billboard charts to number 83 on the Hot Rap chart single and really showed through the dope lyrics of both artists and the production of DJ Premier, they can really shake, shape up the East Coast and the hip hop game. And this song did amazing. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be a star. Everybody want to live life the way they want, you know what I'm saying? What? Everybody want to do that. So, so you know, who hooked that up and how did, y'all, how did that come about? That's we came star. about that superstar, you know, because we, we learned, you know, see, we was going to change. We was touring with Gangstar, doing a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? Jay Root came out. We came out. We was like, man, we want to be a superstar. Word. We want to do something that brothers ain't never did. You know, we want to live life. You no, know, because we, we had the choice to be a big drug dealer or a big killer. Do whatever you but want. we decided, you know, to make it positive. You know what I'm saying? So, so, fake so we had to do niggas. something positive with our lives Word. and our energy. And that's you know? what superstars is all exactly. about. And that's you know? what superstars. Like we are we letting the, judge, the youth know that your dreams can come true? Like we tell Because I used to be out there too, kid. You know what I'm saying? This is this whole the real this. The realness you want everybody to feel exactly. that. Exactly, you know we're saying? not trying to represent the group home. So and I want to say peace to Slick Rick, peace to Tupac. All them Stay strong and Mike Tyson. See you when you come out. Word up, baby. Word. I want you to you play out town. And to all the young youth coming up, your dreams coming true. Right. Your dreams could come true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all better listen to this. This is it's for real, real, baby. This is not for What the major success of Superstar being a hit. The group really got their name out there and then were preparing to release their album. The following year, they dropped their second single, Living Proof, which showed that their two for two were back to back hits. This song was just as good as Superstar, but also gave them a different element and dynamic because both songs don't sound the same, but still carry that East Coast bop that everyone loves. Group Home was actually able to release three singles and three videos for the album. The third and final single, Suspended in Time, might have been the best song if you listen to the album from front to back. Because not only did you have the introspection, you had the conscious lyrics mixed with the exquisite production of DJ Premier. This definitely was one of the standout songs and one of the best songs on the album. The next single, bam, is going to be called Suspended in Time. Because a lot of brothers are, you know what I'm saying? A lot of brothers are suspended in time. For all the brothers that come out of jail and don't know what to do. We're going to give them something All the brothers do. that selling crack and all, and you know what I'm saying, and don't know what to do. Because they're going to debt money soon, and they're going to go on credit. They already got Social Security, and they're going to debt money, so all the drug dealers ain't going to be worth nothing. You know what I'm saying? What so they're going to be left suspended in time. Exactly. So we're going to wait. Man, big shook. And we're waking them up. We're going to wake them up. That's what we're here for. The ghetto's the group, huh? The ghetto's the group, huh? We live in the street. We live with the people. We live with people who don't have. We live with people who, who that's unfortunate. You know, we're amongst this, these parties. You know, I don't live no fucking Beverly Hills and nothing like that. I couldn't tell you how they live out there, you know, but I can tell you about what goes on out here in these streets and what these people going through. I can tell you about welfare. Ain't nobody in Beverly Hills can tell you about welfare. I can tell you about it, you know, because I'm around these people. So I, I take their pain and put it through our music. That's the group home to me. You know what I mean? We have one big group home. That's it. 